Hey guys, it's Ross and uh, I'm outside today and I noticed within the past week or so there's been something in my uh, backyard that has really been causing a problem. And if you look right behind me is my grapevines. In fact, there's uh, three grapevines right behind me. This is their second year in the ground. Um, in fact, some of them already have grapes on them. Quite incredible. I must say the the really unfortunate part of this whole thing is that uh, I have a, a Japanese beetle problem but there are these beetles uh, that were from overseas that were brought over when someone imported some plant material um, and they've just now gone rampant in the United States um, and it's really becoming a problem here because they like to eat very specific things and actually if I did nothing about it they would completely defoliate my plants What's worse is that they are mating right now and some of them like will lie on top of each other. They're on the undersides of the leaves. They really just eat. I mean, look at this leaf right here. This, this was a leaf. So, I mean, it's just incredible what they do. They have no predator. They have absolutely no predator. What's, what is nice though is that you can shake this leaf and you can have a have a bowl of uh, water of soap water and they'll fall in the bowl and they'll die because they can't uh, they can't swim and they can't swim away or they can't fly away from the um, the water and it's very easy to just shake this leaf here and they'll just drop so they're kind of stupid <laughs> in terms of insects I'd say they're the <laughs> the least intelligent insect but they uh, they have no predators and they have no worries so it's kind of like they can afford to be stupid and what I've been doing is I've been spraying you know you could see this white stuff here on the leaves this is called surround and last year it worked I also came out here every single morning with um, a bowl of water a bowl of soap water and knock these guys into the bowl and after about a month or so I didn't see any of them they were gone completely I don't know if they just moved on or if what I was doing really worked but I know the surround really helps uh, unfortunately every time it rains it washes it off but uh, I really need to get these guys sprayed even more because the surround isn't doing enough as you can see I mean they're just everywhere they're absolutely everywhere and this isn't just on my grapevines okay they don't seem to really bother apples that much, but they've affected my apples. They've affected my sweet cherries. I mean, they actually like the sweet cherries, I think, the most. You can see the, uh, the leaves here with just bite marks all over them. They also enjoy my persimmons. And it just seems like there's very select, very select uh, fruits here. You know, here's another leaf that's kind of eaten and actually affected by aphids as well. But yeah, it's just kind of incredible what these things can do to your plants. And if you're not aware of it and what to do about it, then uh, you can pl completely have a defoliated plant and uh, just ruin your fruit for that year. So I thought I'd give you guys just a little bit of a uh, informational video on Japanese beetles and you know different things you can do about them, and really just to complain to you guys about these damn beetles. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Happy gardening, guys.